Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have another leak that has to do with the Ryzen 3000 series of processors that's upcoming from AMD. Probably if previous leaks are to be believed, we're gonna see those announced in May and actually launched then in very early July. Hopefully that is the case. And I really can't wait to get my hands on these processors to actually put them through their uh, testing. But this leak comes from BillyBilly.com, which is a uh, Chinese website. And apparently this leaks information comes directly from motherboard manufacturers, which already have their hands potentially on sample CPUs from AMD. So this leak may be, if the leaker is to be believed about the sources, it may be a little bit more believable if we take it as being somebody that's not just outright lying, which of course with any leak is always a possibility. But to be fair to this leak, all the information here seems to be somewhat in line with what we've seen previously. So let's go ahead and go through some of the information. Now to dive into this article a little bit, keep in mind this is Google translating a website. So if something sounds a little strange or you see a word that you might just not recognize whatsoever, it's probably because Google's not translating it uh, completely accurately like somebody that actually speaks the language could translate it. This is, you know, translated by an algorithm. So let's take a look at some of the information, some of the highlights here, and then we can kind of come back for some wrap up. The first noteworthy information that comes in this article comes when it talks about the B550 platform. Now, of course, that's going to be the successor to the B450. And then, of course, even further back, the B350 platform. And it looks like the B550 may not have PCIe 4.0 support. Uh, if that's going to be important to you, then maybe that'll push you towards the X570 chipset. But to be frank, uh, I don't really know that we're going to see a big benefit at the gamer level or general consumer level for uh, PCIe 4.0 versus 3.0. So, I don't think that's going to be a game changer for people. I don't think that's going to be the thing that pushes a lot of people towards X570 in the first place, but it is something to be aware of nonetheless. Now, one of the words that I mentioned that you might not recognize is this R-U-I-L-O-N-G, which I believe from context around the article is actually meaning Ryzen. So we're going to read that to mean Ryzen, and it looks like the third generation of Ryzen processors might have up to 40 PCIe lanes, which would be a fantastic value for people that just need more add-in cards. Maybe you want to take advantage of multiple NVMe drives as well as potentially multiple GPUs. As we know right now with the mainstream platforms from both AMD and Intel, if you're taking advantage of a lot of extra add-in cards, you very quickly spend up your PCIe lanes on those platforms. So by adding up to 40, that would be a real win for people that are just wanting to add in maybe extra NVMe drives, maybe some extra NICs, maybe wireless cards, even uh, running two GPUs at the same time with some of those other adding cards. That'll give us a lot more flexibility with how we use this platform. Now it is worth noting that the end consumer might not have full access to all 40 lanes at any given time for adding cards because of things like uh, being shared by the SATA interface as is mentioned by the article. And just for comparison's sake, the 2700X right now, the Ryzen's uh, mainstream top end CPU has 24 PCIe lanes. So this is a big addition to the CPUs if this is actually what we see. We did get some performance numbers out of this leak, which according to the author, we have IPC going up by about 15% over the second generation of Ryzen processors. And we're likely to see clock speeds up in the 4.5 gigahertz range. So once you add on the extra clock speed that we're gonna see with these processors and the 15% of IPC gain, we're actually gonna be seeing a significant single threaded performance jump. And then that's not even taking into account the potential of having 16 cores and 30 two threads on the mainstream platform, though obviously it's going to be an expensive chip. Uh, calling it mainstream may be a little bit of a misnomer, but same platform as the mainstream processors regardless. So we are going to see a significant performance jump, at least it looks like. And uh, again, these leaks seem to be sourced from motherboard manufacturers, so there might actually be a little more of a concrete factor to these leaks. And then the last thing that I do want to point out is it looks like the A320 chipset will definitely not be getting the Ryzen 3000 treatment. That is, they will not be compatible. Uh, the processors are, will not be compatible with those A320 motherboards, according to motherboard manufacturers. Now, the manufacturer does mention that the A320 and B350 boards are actually 
actually borderline identical. This is more of a just segmentation issue and it's probably AMD passing this down just to try to segment up the people from A320 and B350. By giving B350 support, uh, obviously you're probably not gonna wanna run a 16 core processor on a B350 board. Something tells me the VRMs might not hold up for that, but by sort of pushing the A320 people out into an upgrade, that just may be a little bit of a segmentation strategy. And to be honest, I don't know how many A320 boards were sold outside of system integrators in the first place. It's not exactly the motherboard that I would turn to considering that all Ryzen processors are unlocked unless you consider the Athlon processors uh, part of the Ryzen lineup. I know it's using the same architecture, but they're also not branded as Ryzen. So the Ryzen processors themselves are all unlocked, which has always been the number one reason why I've recommended getting at least B350 because you give yourself a better upgrade option and also you give yourself the opportunity to overclock even if you don't have a great cooler right now and you're considering a B350 platform versus A320 even if the A320 is ten dollars cheaper get the B350 it just gives you a lot more options down the road in regards to overclocking and obviously now it's looking like the B350 boards may give you a much better upgrade path as well so of course this is just a leak but I do want to hear from you guys what do you think about this information is this giving you more confidence in Ryzen or even potentially is it driving you away from Ryzen let me know in those comments down below obviously the big thing that I'm missing out on here right now is we haven't really seen a whole lot on the pricing front which is where I'm really going to be interested but I do want to hear your guys thoughts down below and of course if you like this video and you want to see more like it give this video a like share subscribe and comment all those things help out a lot you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos from my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.